Hello friends, I'm Yamini. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about penicillium fungus. Okay, since we were going to discuss the production of penicillin, so I thought it would be a better option to first brief you about what penicillium is. Okay, so the penicillium name is derived from the Latin root which means painter's brush. Okay, it is a saprophytic fungus which is commonly known as blue or green mold. Okay, talking about its occurrence, it occurs on fruits of citrus family. Okay, and it is present in soil, in air, vegetables, decaying fruits, meat, etc. Now, Penicillium notatum is used for making penicillin antibiotic. I will be discussing about the production of this antibiotic using Penicillium notatum. Okay. Now, Penicillium expansum causes blue mold of apples, a very common disease. And Penicillium roqueforti and camemberti are used in the flavoring of cheese. Let us now talk about the vegetative structure. The body is mycelial. Okay, as you know that the basic characteristic of a fungus is the mycelium, right? So, its body is also mycelial. And the mycelium is profusely branched and septate. Okay. It is multinucleate, freely branched, tubular and colorless as well. It consists of septum and each septum have a central pore. It can grow deep in substratum as well as on the surface. Right. So let me show you how the vegetative structure looks. So this is how your penicillium looks like. You can see here are the conidia about which we will study later. There, these are your sphialids which are also called as stagmata. It is your matulae as you can see here in the labeling. It is your ramus. And this particular is your conidiophore in which all of these structures are present. And this is your hypha. You can see the septum which is present. Okay, so this is the vegetative structure of your penicillium. Okay, talking about the reproduction, the vegetative reproduction occurs by fragmentation. Okay, that can happen by the accidental breaking of the mycelium. Asexual reproduction takes place by the unicellular, uninucleate, non-motile spores which are conidia. Formed on the conidiophore. I have already showed you the conidia in the diagram. You have also seen the structure of conidiophore. It is erect, branched from any cell of mycelium and may be unbranched or branched. Okay. The branch of the conidiophore is called the ramus, which become branched called matulae. And a number of flask shaped phyalids or stagmata develop at the tip of the matulae. And the conidia are arranged basipatally, right? And they develop exogenously and are oval, elliptical, or globose in shape. Sexual reproduction is seen in few species only and it shows the great variation. So this was all about the penicillium. In the next video, discuss about the production of the penicillin antibiotic. Do subscribe my channel. Do share the videos with your friends as well. Thanks for watching.